I got the opportunity to talk to the developers at Call of Duty in regards to all of the changes and new additions that are coming to Season 5 in Warzone. But before we proceed any further, please be sure to like this video, comment, and let me know if you're excited for Season 5 because I know I am. So that being said, this is what you can expect in Season 5. Confetti, it's coming down. The price gang here, take the price crown. That's the everything, even music boys. All price gang do is praise the Lord. First things first, for all all my Verdansk lovers Superstore has returned but there are some changes that have been made to it to give it a more modern slash fast-paced feel here's how Superstore resurgence will be same key entrances as the original same key navigation routes same iconic design 28 players small and faster circles around Superstore which means that the game length will be about 10 minutes custom ground loot discounts at buy station and it will be available on season launch yes superstore resurgence will be in season five at launch but here's what they improved they improved target acquisition better lighting better landmarking better telegraph dangerous shelves so for all my people that did play for dancing you played superstore or you were in superstore there were a lot of shelves that you could jump on top of some of them were places where people play like rats others you used to get away from people well now you'll be able to better determine which shelves in superstore are choke points and which ones aren't there are also new rotations and movement opportunities they've now added a few zip lines and ascenders they've even added more rooftop cover to split play space because you guys remember in the original there was practically no cover on the roof at all they reworked dead end rooms and camp spots and yes it's ground loot will make it a hot drop listen man i'm trying to tell y'all i am so excited that they have brought back superstore like they have slowly but surely been giving us the game that we've really been wanting and desiring and this is a great step in the right direction if you ask me the redeploy drone beacon has returned yes it is back in season five but they actually made a lot of improvements to it. So one of the changes that they made is that it's easily identifiable with its distinct circular shape. Yes, you will be able to fully and clearly identify what it looks like, whether it's on the ground, if it's mixed up in other people's loot, you'll be able to see it clear as day. Players can throw it far away to create plays. So from what they told us, you can actually fling this thing from a pretty far distance. So whether you're trying to get out of a sticky situation or get into a sticky situation or even help your teammates get out of one, you can throw this redeployed drone beacon pretty far now. It also can be destroyable though to open up counterplays. So if somebody tries to throw one down, you can shoot it out the sky and pretty much prevent them from leaving. They are purchasable in all core modes in the buy station and they will be available at season launch in all core modes except for Vondel. Uh, they told us that due to some technicalities, some issues going on that they can't implement it in Vondel, but it's okay because it's in every other mode. There's also gonna be some new public events coming to season five as well one being bounty contest what is bounty contest bounty contest is it's an in-game event that assigns a bounty contract on each team yes every single team players can chain bounties together though so if you're killing multiple people that have a bounty on them you can just keep stacking them up and keep getting more money more kills things of that nature each successful bounty reaps cash and xp and it will be available at season launch but will not be in ranked. I repeat, it will not be in ranked. Warzone rewards are coming to season five as well. Now these Warzone rewards are going to be spaced out between 16 new challenges and rewards across four categories, being combat expertise, cooperation, mobility, and from what they told us, there's a redacted challenge. So essentially there's going to be a hidden challenge just like um, like every other, you know, in-game event there's been like, you know, they, there's been like secret easter eggs and things of that nature well there's going to be an easter egg for these warzone rewards but if you complete all of these rewards not only do you get four new weapon camos but you will also get a bruin blueprint called the sports icon and i ain't gonna lie to y'all it is meta there's going to be a new resurgence champions quest camo coming to season five as well they definitely heard our feedback on how we felt about the champions quest rewards in season four and i ain't gonna cap to y'all that camo looks disgusting for anybody that did play this game mode 
Supreme Resurgence has returned as well. Now, if you don't know what Supreme Resurgence is, let me fill you in. Basically, this is Resurgence with the finest ground loot, epic items, or higher only weapons covered with literally what they said, quote unquote, badass camos. They've removed any uncompetitive items, but there is a longer respawn, but actions depletes it faster. So I'm assuming it's basically just the same as like the resurgence time or whether, you know, if people are opening crates or getting kills or squad wipes, you'll be able to return back in action a whole lot faster. Upon winning your first game or any game in re in supreme resurgence you will unlock a spilled beans camo now we got to see what it looks like i can't put it in this video but it looks pretty cool uh from what it looks like it doesn't look like it's reactive but it still looks a lot better than you know a lot of the camos especially the the weed camo that we got for the high trip mode in season four or season three whatever season it was i also want to add supreme resurgence is only going to be rebirth quads another public event coming to season five is called recon flyover which means an advanced uav will fly over an area revealing anyone near them you are revealed as long as you are in the advanced uav's radius and ghost does not counter it i repeat ghost does not counter it this will be available in br and in resurgence but will not be in rank so for all my rank heads don't worry y'all don't have to worry about this in-game event coming that you guys are gonna like this one there's a new system being implemented into season five as well and it is called elite contracts now elite contracts are essentially contracts that will create new centers of interest greater challenges shorter times to complete contracts greater rewards and these rewards will contain one of the following either a redacted weapon a foresight kill streak a specialist perk package or an advanced uav the additional elite contracts may spawn during the match though so if you complete it or if somebody else completes one there could be additional ones that spawn in that same match and also i want to add this will be available in br resurgence and ranked so this is actually going to be really good for all my ranked players whether you guys need a, a regain or if you guys want to actually start the game off hot hurry up and get loady get you know a force like kill streak specialist bonus advanced uav and get going to clear the lobby out as fast as possible so i think for all my ranked players you guys are really going to like this too another system that is going to be added in season five is personal records yes so for all my people that be lying talking about some, i just broke my pr now there will be proof in game whether or not you've broken your pr now i can't show you guys what it looks like but from what we've seen at the end of the game where it shows all the squad members and it shows you know like the the name the title you know what i mean like killer or whatever the case may be if you break your pr it will show personal best above your name and honestly i think that's fire because you know a lot of people be lying but also another thing they also appreciate and they've seen our videos of us breaking our prs or getting world records and stuff like that so they really wanted to cater to that factor and make sure that people can see you know your squad and i think honestly the people that are also in the lobby too when you win the game if you broke your pr or not so i think that's fire y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments i think you guys are really gonna love this one a quality of life change that is really going to change warzone in season five is the fact that the gas mask has been fixed so it's going to be there when you need it and it's gone when you don't that's exactly what they told us word for word bar for bar honestly i think personally season five is going to be a great season i'm excited for it and you guys are going to see a lot of season five content on the channel from class setups to challenges that i'm going to be doing myself you know what i mean like nukes with every ar and by the way nukes meaning like nukes and pubs trying to get an actual rebirth nuke or warzone nuke that's definitely not easy but again there are going to be a lot of videos coming from me this season as we get ready for black ops 6 and also in this video i want to let you guys know and announce that i will be attending cod next yes i will be going to washington dc and playing black ops 6 early on august 28th i believe so again if you guys want to watch that make sure you guys follow follow me on twitch subscribe to the youtube channel links to everything will be in the description with all that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you guys haven't already please be sure to leave a like a comment and please subscribe to the channel as well as join my discord server in my discord server i have a coaching section so if you guys want to get better at warzone if you guys want to get better at fps games and get ready for black ops 6 
my discord server is where you need to be i have a pdf guide as well on how to improve at fps games for beginners that is in my discord server and i now also have a server subscriptions in my discord server so my discord server is where you guys want to be we got pr pretty much everything you need in there from fps games to you know an investment channel self-improvement sports games whatever you need that discord server is where you need to be again with all that being said i love y'all i hope y'all all have a great wonderful and amazing day morning evening wherever you are watching this video and i will see you guys when i see y'all Thank you.